What it is, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Light Platinum. In the previous episode, we basically started the game, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that quest that Miss uh, or Professor Jasmine has asked us to do, which is to go talk to Professor Oak and tell him that we or that she has something to tell him. I guess I don't even know. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and got, gone off screen and uh, did some grinding and. Uh, trained up uh, Pyro. I changed his name, by the way. Uh, I did not like Lizard. I changed it to Pyro, because, I don't know, it sounded pretty cool for a fire type, I guess. Anyways, um, I went ahead and trained him up to level 10. Uh, I don't know, 10's a good number. Um, he also learned Ember. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and restarted. He's now a lonely nature. Here's his stats. Um, I'm not sure if lonely. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know about the uh, natures of Pokemon and stuff. What it powers up and stuff. Uh, if you want to know, check out Bulbapedia or something. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and trained on this route right here, Route 401. And um, so far, the Pokemon that I found are Starly, Wormpool, and uh, uh, Beedoo. Those are the only Pokemon that I found. So uh, yeah. Oh, um, by the way, I'm also gonna be cutting out all wild battles wild encounters that I uh, come across during this let's play just to let you guys know unless it is a team member that is going to uh, I'm going to catch so yeah um, let's go ahead and dive into our first trainer battle against a bug Pokemon trainer bug Pokemon will always be strong I'll show you uh, yeah bug Pokemon I don't know about that sir I mean I'm sure there's some tough po bug Pokemon you have four Pokemon jeez man can you even catch, can you even catch Caterpie in this uh, area? I'm not even sure. Uh, let's go and use Ember. Um, but yeah, uh, so so far I, I played a little bit ahead of this game, and, and uh, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. The uh, the graphics in this game are just totally amazing. That's why that's why this game is like so awesome. Why people say it's so awesome. It's mostly because of the graphics in this game is just so good for a Pokemon game. And there we go. Wesley FG, by the way, is a very, very uh, well-known uh, ROM hacker, I guess. I don't even know how, what, what the title would be. But, um, but yeah, the guy who translated this uh, is still... I, I, I forgot to check, but... Um, I think I actually forgot to link his name in the description in episode 1, so I'll probably do it after this episode. And I'll probably link it in, in the description of this episode, too. Um, but yeah, it starts with an S, I think. I'm not even sure. Uh, but yeah, we got 64 bucks, dude. You're poor. What the hell? Um, but let's go over here. There should be an item over here. I think it's a potion. We can add that to our uh, collection of items to that heal... Uh, Pokemon and such. We got a, we got a youngster over here. He's got his hat like, you know, all cool like and stuff. He's got to turn all the way to the back, like Ash catch him when he was about to catch that Caterpie. And you guys don't know what I'm talking about. These from the TV show, obviously. If I'm talking about Ash catch him. I'm obviously talking about the Pokemon TV show. Um. Speaking of Ash, I might play Pokemon Ash Grey because that was another good ROM hack. That might be a uh, Pokemon game that I might do after Pokemon Light Platinum. Not sure yet though because uh, that's also a very overplayed uh, game, but I mean Light Platinum is a very, very over overplayed game. So many YouTubers play this game. Uh, with good reason too because it's a very, very good game. So. Um, but yeah, Ash Grey is just like a... Um, just like basically a video game version of the TV show and what goes on in the first season. And I think they also have the orange island, so. That's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, if you do enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and also uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, so you can know at the earliest time possible when my new videos come out. So, yeah. Um. And we beat Youngstar Han. Experience can only be gained with time. I think I need to train more. Uh, with an exclamation mark. That, that was not enthusiastic of me. I probably should have added more enthusiasm into that uh, sentence, I guess. Uh, if you talk to her, she just talks about how... I think it's berries heal items. Or, yeah. Berries 
Oh wait, I'm talking about three days. Uh, you should use an antidote to cure, yeah. I was watching you and saw that your Pokemon... Uh, yeah. This guy gives you the TM for Thief, basically, and uh, that's what you can use to uh, take uh, berries from trees, so yeah. Like in this case, if you have TM, if you put the TM on your Pokemon, then you can steal uh, berries from your, uh, from the berry trees, I guess. I don't know why you can't just pick them yourselves, but you have to have TM4, but whatever. And the first patch of grass! Alright, so that was a wild b -doof. And, uh, ooh, okay, what do you got? What do you got, Mr. Buck, Pokemon, trying to, what do you got? What do you got, song? And, he's got a cricket tot. Oh, man, I remember. Back in Pokemon Diamond, that thing used to annoy the crap out of me with its, uh, what's it called? I think I had a Pipple up back then. I always choose Pipple from Pokemon Diamond. It's my favorite, uh... It's like my... F that's my favorite Pokemon, uh, hands down in the, uh... Fourth Gen, so... I mean, I think... I don't know. I do... I like, uh, Turtwig, too, but, uh... Or Turtwig, I don't know. Is it Turtwig or Turtwig? I don't know. I think in the... I think in the anime, it's Turtwig, but, I mean, people call it Turtwig, too. It doesn't really matter, I guess. It's like, you know, like... Potato, potato, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Piplup's awesome. I like Empoleon. Uh, it looks sick. Plus, it's awesome. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's my favorite Poke Water. Or it's one of my favorite Water Pokemon uh, starters. Uh, I think Squirtle probably takes the top though, because I mean, Blastoise is freaking awesome. Uh. We got a Metapod again. Metapod. I don't know how the in the anime how does Metapod speak? Like there's no mouth. In Metapod like is like and like when it when it comes out of the Pokeball or whatever it talks like Metapod. But how? How does it talk? I must know. Game freak. Somebody Nintendo. Tell me something. Give me some answers. Give me the answers that I'm searching for. In Central City, there is a TV radio station that broadcasts radio and TV all over the world. That's good to know. Thank you for telling me this information. I will take it and store it in a secret place that no one will ever find out. Uh, we finally arrived in Central City. We were actually here er earlier. I think we were, uh, decoding or decrypting. I don't even know what the right word is, but we were doing something. Translating is the word I was looking for. Uh, the alpha language into English because there's in scriptures in here and uh, there's dude like right here and uh, yeah yeah we beat him best back best summary of what happened in the last episode ever uh so yeah we're in Central City I'm gonna go ahead and heal I'm gonna cut out all I'm gonna cut out all healing and uh Pokemon Mart or Pokemart I don't even know Pokemart visits um, so yeah, talk to you guys in a sec. Oh me, oh my, my Pokemon are healed. Let's go ahead and go this way. Uh, this is actually where you have to go to talk to Professor Oak. I almost lost track of what I had to say, but yeah, we have to go over here to Route, Route, oh, Marfeni Lake. That's where we have to go. We must go to Marfeni Lake. I don't even know when you get Pokeballs and, uh, and such so uh, whenever we do that would be great because I'd like to start catching some Pokemans there's actually a really cool Pokemon you can uh, there's actually a really cool Pokemon that is coming up very soon spoiler uh, let's value you you're a trainer I know that Pokemon should always be fit and ready for battle uh, okay so uh, oh I like that sprite why is her hair sticking up like that, though? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, though. Like, you need to explain. Right now. Uh, okay, so... Let's go ahead and Ember the Krogunk. Krogunk's a cool Pokemon. I would just never use it because it's evil! Evil! I mean, at least in, uh... I mean, Team Galactic. I think, is it Team Galactic? Yeah, I think it's Team Galactic. Team Galactic always uses, like, Krogunk, Toxicroak. Um, what else do they use? They use, uh, they use that metal thing. I don't even know what it's called. I, I can't. 
It's like a, I don't even know. It's like a metal thing. I don't even know. It's kind of make. I'm kind of. I sound stupid right now because I can't remember what his name is. But that's besides the point. So there's also a uh, Perugly. Um, and uh, there's the other one, uh, Skunk Tank. Skunky. These are the Stunky. These are a bunch of those weird Pokemans. I would never use. I might use. Uh, I might use Stunky. The Stunky set looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we beat you. You're a great battler. These sound tactics in your. How do you? What? Sound tactics. Sound tactics. Okay. Whatever you say, crazy bitch. I'm gonna go move on now. Being a trainer means being prepared for battle at any time. I hope you're ready now. I hope you are, because if you're not, I'm gonna beat you. We come against, against youngster Kyle. What were your parents thinking when they named you, son? Huh? Remember, speaking of the devil, we come up against the Stucky, and you're about to be de de destroyed, son. Two embers. You're done. You're done goofed. And uh, we're up to level 16, so that means we're evolving, right? Right? Oh man, I think we're gonna actually go over one level. Uh, that, no, that's not good. That's no good. That's no good. Oh, critical I'll hit. I'm not sure if we. Yeah, we probably needed it. But it's. Oh no, we're gonna go over the level. Damn you! Damn you, Pokemon trainer, we're gonna go over the level. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go ahead and leer me all you want. Doesn't matter if you blow my defense and I kill you. You already did. You already did, son. Blow my defense to the net. Whoa, my freaking emulator like froze for a second there. That was weird. That was weird. Pachirisu. Ugh. This thing sucks. This thing smells like poop. I don't like Pachirisu. It's bad for the health. Bad for the health, Pachirisu. What is it? Is it supposed to be a chip? Is it a chipmunk or a squirrel? I don't need. Oh, bye. No, we gotta take this thing out now. We gotta take this thing out now. You did. There you go. Your daily dose of the sausage. It has been served. And we're evolving! Yes, great way to end off the episode. So, Pyro is evolving. Oh, where's the little. Where's the little. Those things that circle around the uh, Pokemon when it evolves? That's silly, why you don't do that? And there we go, we got ourselves a Charmeleon, and the sprite looks epic, look at that! Looks so sick! Oh my days, that looks nice, that looks nice as hell. But we're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, I hope you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next episode, peace.